Alright, Revit 2026 is here, and we already have amazing updates in the first week. Firstly, PyRevit already supports Revit 2026, so we're gonna install and test that. But also, to my surprise, Revit Python Show has finally received an update and now supports Revit 25 and 26 as well. Not everyone finds Interactive Shell useful, but I find it really useful for certain things when I want to debug smaller snippets or for my tutorials. So I'm very excited about that one and we're also going to test that. So let's open Revit and test this. As you can see, I'm in my Revit 2026 and at the moment I don't have any add-ins installed. So let's fix that. So firstly, open browser and type pyravitlabs.io and as usually here you will find the latest release. Let's click on that one and it will take you to the GitHub page. And here you can see that this is for Revit 2026 support. You can scroll down and here are gonna be installers. As usually, do not install CLI because this is only command line interface. Instead, you wanna get like the full kind of pirate installation, which is this one. So I'm gonna click on that one and download. And I'm just gonna install it as usual on top of the pirate that I already had before. So next, in here you can double check where it's gonna be saved, then click on next. In this case, it tells that this folder already exists and whether I would like to install to that folder anyway. I'm going to click on yes. However, if you have your extensions, it's a good idea to back them up as well. But usually it's not an issue and you will see that my, my extension is going to stay as it is. I'm going to click on next and finally install. Uh, also, maybe it's a good idea to close the Revit while the installation is running. So I'm just going to go and do that. And I'm going to wait a little and wait until it finishes installation. Now, once it's complete, now everything is done. Now I can go back to my Revit 2026, which is this one. And right away you can see here the name Pyravit Loader, publisher Jean-Marc Kufin. And just for the record, my name, Kufin. Huge shout out to him for developing Pyravit and all the other maintainers of the project. And I'm also gonna click on always load. All right, and now my Revit has loaded. Let's just open one of the projects. And now I can already see my extension. There is EF Dev, EF Pyravit Starter Kit, and there are going to be a lot more once I'm going to extend it to the full screen. Let's just wait until it opens up the project. And here we go. I'm going to open it. You can see I have EF Tools, Pyravit, RLP Tools, Learn Revit API, another one. There are all my Pyravit extensions are here. So I don't like the dark theme. It's really bad in Revit, in my opinion. Okay, this is the, just the canvas, so I need to go and change it somewhere here. Options, colors. Let's make sure that I'm using the light theme. Yeah, this is more convenient for me. All right, so Parade is here. It seems to work. There are a bunch of different tools. All right, now let's test it. Let's go to EF Tools, click on one of the buttons, for example, EF Sheet Generator. And let's say I want to create two sheets with these area plans on them. That's okay, I don't care about the name, don't care about the title block, let's just generate sheets. And you can see everything works as it's supposed to, and PyRevit now supports Revit 2026, which is really exciting. Now I can see what's going on on my sheets, and here are the newly created sheets with my EF Tools extension. Everything worked great. There's one bug that I can see that all icons there for some reason in the dark mode, even though I'm in the light theme, but the thing if I'm gonna restart Revit, it's gonna be solved. Now let's go to the second plugin, Revit Python Shell, and install that one. Again, I'm going to close Revit just to be sure that it installs without any issues. To install Revit Python Shell, we have to go to GitHub, Revit Python Shell. Just type it in Google or anywhere you search and look for this one, Architecture Building System Revit Python Shell Project on GitHub. Let's open that one and here we go. So firstly, I want to go to Commits and in here you can see that Roman Golov has contributed to this project and also Jean-Marc Kufin. And then Darren Thomas has accepted their changes. So they made the Revit Python shell possible for Revit 25 and 26. Huge shout out to them. Now let's go back to the kind of project. In here, we just have to scroll down a little bit. And here on the right, you will see releases right here. In this case, it's 2.2.0. So let's click on that one. And here you can see supports Autodesk Revit version 2026, which is great. Now let me download that one. And we're gonna wait until it downloads. Then we're gonna run the installer and install it as usual. All right, and download it. Let's just run and finally install it. You might get this menu here, just click more info and then run anyway. This is because the publisher is not specified here, but this is fine. Now next, we can check where it's installed. Next and install. Now validating install, waiting, and now it should be installed. Let's go and test it. And I'm really excited about that one. So let's run Revit 2026 again, and it's going to take a while to load everything. 
I can already see that my add-in is there. I can click on always load. All right, I'm finally in my Revit and we can click here on add-ins and right here is the Revit Python shell. As usually there's an interactive non-model shell. Let's click on non-model and here it is. Let's just quickly try it. Filtered element collector of document of class wall to elements. And we're gonna print walls. Let's run it and you can see it works as expected. Let's also test a few more snippets. I'm gonna go to my website, learn Revit API. And somewhere here, I have the section to test different snippets. Just gonna copy that one. And let's see, just gonna paste it here. So this snippet is supposed to get us all warnings in the project, get description, and then we're gonna iterate. And we're gonna create this kind of printable messages. Let's just click on run. And you can see here a bunch of different warnings and here's the element IDs of each one of them. This can be useful and we can extend this functionality further. So Revit Python Show works great. And it's amazing that finally we get Revit Python Show back to Revit 25 and 26. Also, I've noticed that I forgot to install Revit Lookup. So let's go and do that, Revit Lookup, GitHub. It's right here from the Jeremy Tamek on GitHub. And this is a must have add-in for any Revit API developer. I already end up on releases, but if you just go to the regular page, as usually, it's gonna be here on the right releases. Let's click on that one. Major update. Let's scroll through. We can see there are some new features probably. Let's just scroll all the way down to installers right here in the assets. And obviously we are interested in 2026 version. I'm gonna go with a single user. Let's click on that one. And same as usually, we're just gonna run and install it. Also, I haven't closed my Revit, but you can see that it already kind of recognizes that new add-in was added. It's here, Revit Lookup from Andacan Incorporated. And I can click on Always Load. And it's supposed to appear right, right here in the add-ins. And look, we have Revit Lookup. And I get an error, but this is probably because I had my Revit open during installation. Let's just restart it and see if it works. And hopefully it's supposed to work. All right, I restarted my Revit, so let's go again to add-ins, Revit lookup, dashboard, and this time it works. So you really need to restart Revit so it works in case you see any errors. And you can see there, there is a major change. I did not expect that, to be honest. And now we can see there's active view, application, selection. There are a lot more things, and I really need to get into that to understand what changed, because I can see there are lots of changes. And it's great news, because Revit API keep improving. There are more tools coming in, and developers start to put more and more kind of uh, resources into developing this tool for us. And as you saw, we can also get overview of what's new right here in the GitHub. You can see there is this dashboard page, then different description, there is some right click. Finally, they get got back to the blue color instead of orange because I hated that one. Yeah, no, overall that looks good. And I'm gonna leave all the links in the description so you can go and install PyRevit for 2026, Revit Python Shell, and obviously Revit Lookup. And this tool is gonna help you a lot to develop your custom add-ins with Python and Revit API. And if you're new to Revit API, check out my ebook, Beginner's Guide to Revit API, which will provide you a lot of help on this journey. It will provide you kind of all the concepts that you need to learn, a lot of examples, explanations, and will really save you a lot of time. Again, the link is gonna be in description. You can go and download it there. Yeah, and now I wanna wish you happy coding, and I'm gonna see you in the next videos. Goodbye.